Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. Today on this very exciting part, I'm your host Megan Nintendo Wolf and I will be taking further on the longest route where we get challenged by this extremely blonde person. Even though I'm blonde, but I'm cool because I am. And now his hair's green, that's why he's less cool. Even though I'm sure, yeah, anywho. He's got an Electriac which a level 17, my, my, my sheep wolf shouldn't have too much of a problem taking it down. Um, yeah, so just fight it a couple times and it's going to be dead. Simples. And a flinch. Sweet is not even going to lay a finger. It's barely not going to lay a finger on my sheep wolf anyway. Because now that he used the potion that I'm faster, he'll be going down quicker. Like that. So it was just a waste of time. Now here we have Makihita. It would be a smart thing to switch out, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> hmm. Dice. Why did I just clip that? I feel kinda stupid now. Oh wait, that's a third Pokemon. Never mind, good for me. Raw does come in handy. And that took a lot of damage, you flinch like. Flinching's good! Yeah. And I sound Swedish. Uh, 23, sweet. Getting all pumped up for that next gym battle, even though I'm probably gonna have to power level between episodes before the gym match. Yeah, I'll you can take a bite. Maybe level 29 should do it because I want my Pokemon at least around that level for the battle tents. Because I still have to show the one off in Burden Turf and probably in Falabore Town as well because I won't have level 30 by then. So I'm going to have to be revisiting them. But if your Pokemon are over level 30, the Pokemon in there um, match the level of your highest level Pokemon. Oh look, he wants to ask for his phone number. No, go away. If we go down here, we'll get to the desert again and it'll give us the sandstorm message. But since we can't go there yet, it is quite a good area, but we'll check out later. If we talk to this guy, he will give us a hey, TM, something, another, whatever number, which is secret power. It basically, it's a random effect in battle, kind of depending on your surroundings, whether you're in a desert, or uh, in a cave, or on a grassy route, something like that. But it has actually an outer battle use as well, which is, make, it makes a secret base for you. Uh, not so good when you don't have access to other people's GBAs who also play the game because you can mix records and go visit their secret bases wherever they made them. But if you're playing it on your own, not so much. You make secret bases. It's kind of cool. It's a good feature. They improve on it in Diamond Pearl. I hope they make this feature a lot, lot better in the remake to this game because think about it. You know the little what um, warp thing you get where you can run around and um, run over the Unova region, basically, and do tasks for your Pokemon and that. They could really improve on that, on this, by using that, where you can run around the entire region for secret bases, if they were good to use, utilize that in a way, because that would be that would be insanely awesome. What I originally wanted when I was first playing this game, to run around the region with my friends and do shit. It would be awesome. And this lady here, as if you haven't guessed by my rambling, I missed it, but she, um, heals you. Yes, she heals your Pokemon. So, after you've been through the fiery path, you might want to go see her. And if you get on your match bike and go up this muddy slope, which you couldn't before of anything else, you get access up here. And a battle. And basically, you see those little notch holes everywhere, you can also make a secret base out of them, as well as certain trees. Yeah, he hasn't got much to worry about, just on the chart. It's level 19, I'm 4 levels higher. And I've lowered its attack. I believe I can t 
take it, but I flipped raw by accident. Again. Let's hope he has an upper Pokemon. No, he doesn't. Silly me. Bite. Come on, bite him. Flinching's also appreciated. Because, well, you don't want to fight inside one against the dark type and get to have free roam or whatever. Ooh, Leo, scary. Actually, it's low on my defense. That is quite scary, considering how much little damage I did to it. But I believe in you, She Wolf. I believe. Uh, and it flinched. Yes, I am believing. Believing works. Go on, you can do it, She Wolf. Just don't let him attack. Ah, oh, wait. No, that's a set amount of damage. It's only going to do 19 and 23 damage. So, nothing to worry about there. And he's dead, yes, take that, bitch. Oh, and experience points, yay. It would be a smart idea to heal up before I head on to the next route, which is west of here. Uh, but if, you, well, not west of here, here, but up a little bit, because down there's the desert. But if you head west of this route part here, you'll get some new route. Come on. But you don't need the bike to go down that, I was just using that to save time. Ooh, and here we have another battle with someone with poofy hair. Hmm. Makes you wonder how they would keep the hair, their hair styled um, while they're out on a Pokemon journey. I mean, you're going to be out of the elements. You're not exactly going to have your local hairdresser. I mean, I guess you, if you had a mirror and you had some hairspray and you knew all the hair stuff yourself, which most people do, and I guess I'm just shower and that's it. Yeah, I don't do anything special with my hair, it's just, I don't like... I don't know, my hair's the sort of hair that looks better when it's messy and slightly long, rather than short and neat, if you know what I mean. And you trying to burn me? No, she will take me down, bitch. Experience! Yawn! What's it sending out? A Roselia, yes. Luckily I'm in the right Pokemon for this. Sweet! Cool beans is cool. And I just remembered I was supposed to be taking part of my desk today because I've got a new one and I'm supposed to be moving this one out. Uh, <laughs> what the do? What the do? Oh, well, it can't be that. It shouldn't be that hard, I mean. Just... All I have to do is yawn like I am now. Ugh. Damn it, why am I yawning so much? It's like four... Yeah, ten past four in the afternoon. I should not be tired. Either way, uh, yeah, I'm supposed to be taking apart my desk to, um, so I can set up my new one. I'm starting to think I might not do that today because keeping up updated with these episodes is kind of hard, even though it will be even more so for the next episode because I've got sprites to do. Although then again, setting up a desk ain't that hard because it's just taking a few, part a few screws. I hope. And Ninja get out there, or Swiftwing get out there. Fury cut off. Go! It's super... No, it's not super effective. Okay, poison resist bug. I've got to remember that. Because in first generation, poison types beat bug types. And they got rid of that second generation onwards, which I thought was a bit uncool. Yeah. I didn't like that so much that they got rid of it, but oh well. No, she's adding us to her phone! Or poking out. Same thing, really. I think I'm gonna end things off here for now, because uh, we're on Route 113. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.